Hey y'all, today I'm going to show you how to add a hanging loop to any dishcloth. Now, if you have not bound all the way off yet and weaved in your ends, you can just continue from the corner where you are, which I'll show you in just a minute. But if you are working a different pattern and you've already bound off and decided, oops, I wanna put a loop on this corner, then I'm going to show you how to do that too. Okay, so we have bound off all the way across our last row here on the right side. So if you want to add a little hanging loop here to hang your dishcloth by so that it can dry easily, you can do a knitted cast on. So we're going to turn with that last stitch on our needle and we're going to insert our needle to knit one. But instead of sliding it off the left needle, we're going to take what we just knit on the right needle and put it on the left needle. Then we're going to repeat that in the stitch we just made. And if you can, this corner here is where I, my last stitch I bound off, so I, I wove in my end there. And while I'm fairly confident that it is weaved in really well, that may not be the best corner to attach the loop to if you're not sure you weaved in your end really well. So it doesn't really matter which corner, at least on this seed stitch, it looks you know the same if we turn it upside down or right side up. And this will work for your bind off edge and your cast on edge. So you'll need a length of matching yarn and your needles. So I'm going to pick the opposite corner and I'm just going to find a space there at the end. This is seed stitch, and so I have pearls and knits, and I'm gonna go in this space here, and I'm going to insert my needle under there into that corner stitch and just yarn over like I would for knitting or joining new yarn and pull that through. like I would for picking up a stitch. Make sure I have a good tail to weave in here. Okay, so after I picked up my stitch, I'm going to make sure it's on my left needle here and I'm just going to use the knitted cast on. So I insert my right needle into the front leg there yarn over and knit. And then instead of putting sliding that off the needle, I'm putting it on the left needle. Okay, so I'm just gauging the length here by how many stitches I've cast on. So I'm going to go ahead and continue casting on until I have 20 stitches on my needle. And then we will knit back and sew it down here. Okay, so once you have knit, cast on enough stitches to make a little loop, here I have 20 stitches, then you can just go ahead and knit them. Okay, so now when we turn, we're on our right side of our cloth and our hanging loop we're working on, and we're going to bind off our loop by the same way we did, by knitting the first two and pulling that first stitch over. Knit one, pull the first stitch over. Okay, so when you have bound off all the stitches, then you're just going to pull up the long loop there so that we can sew it down with our yarn needle. 
we're going to use the tail here to sew it to the corner, making the loop. Just be sure to sew it in really well. You might even want to knot it. I'll use up all this tail to make sure it's secured nicely and weave away the end. I'll also take some time to neaten up the corner and the join here just as I'm sewing and securing, finding those loose loops and using those. Then we're just going to weave this end away as well.